Across the country, states and territories are working to provide better information to help their students succeed in the classroom and beyond. Statewide Longitudinal Data Systems, or SLDSs, combine data from across the state to help answer critical questions about student learning and outcomes, social programs and policies, workforce preparation, and economic development. The data included in SLDSs vary from state to state. An SLDS can cover a specific part of the education to career pathway or several parts. Many SLDSs include data from early childhood education and early care programs, K-12 schools, community colleges and four-year colleges and universities, and workforce programs and services. Some also incorporate data from health, social services, and public safety agencies. Data from these sources are shared and linked securely to create longitudinal records that can be used without identifying individuals. The agencies that contribute data govern how those data are managed, protected, and used. Statewide longitudinal data systems offer a number of benefits. They include data from an entire state, not just a single school district or program. Users can examine information for different geographic areas and for the state as a whole. SLDSs connect data from multiple education and employment programs to show the relationships among the programs and the stakeholders whom they serve. They also link data over time to allow users to measure progress and examine the relationships between earlier experiences and long-term outcomes. Statewide longitudinal data systems support students and citizen success in a variety of ways. Teachers can see their students' education history and plan their instruction accordingly. They can also identify and provide additional support to students who are at risk of failing or dropping out of school. School administrators can see how their graduating classes fare in post-secondary education and in the workforce. They can identify ways to better prepare students in the future, such as implementing programs that help teachers improve instruction, tailoring supports to student needs, and revising course offerings. Post-secondary institutions can assess how well their programs serve students with different K-12 experiences and align to workforce needs, as well as whether their graduates are prepared to contribute to high-demand career fields. By reviewing information available from the SLDS, students and their families can determine which early childhood programs, education services, schools, or degree programs will help them meet their academic and professional goals. Workers can decide which training programs and certifications will help them advance their careers based on wage and employment information from others with similar credentials. With SLDS data, researchers can help educators, policymakers, and the public understand more about the relationships among education and social programs and later outcomes. These analyses can help inform policies and programs on topics like educator preparation or college and career readiness. Lawmakers and policymakers can evaluate how best to allocate funds for early childhood, education, training, and workforce programs, as well as how to improve the policies that govern them. SLDSs also support more efficient operations and better policies across the state by improving data quality and streamlining required state and federal reporting. The information provided by an SLDS allows states to use evidence to answer questions about their education and workforce systems more effectively and ultimately to better serve students and adults. For more information about statewide longitudinal data systems, check out these resources.